Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. It's Tracy here and I'm thinking of rebranding this channel. Um, so I might be saying hello Rocksteady and it might be called something like Living Rocks or something like that. I don't know. I'm thinking of changing it. But if I do, it will just appear and I'll be saying the wrong name like a looking like an idiot. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of my must-haves that I get when I do a low carb diet so i've been following low carb now i i'm old school it's atkins i don't care whether you call yours keto i don't care about those macros and i don't care about any of that stuff that says i've got to eat more fat i don't um i've lost a stone which is well i've lost a stone i've lost 16 pounds altogether so that's good enough for me um but there are some products that I could not do without and um, I'm going to show them to you. So firstly, when I first did a low carb diet back in the 80s, it was called Atkins then and nobody cared um, about it. Um, I got a bit constipated. No, 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 nice subject, but I did. And um, I got one of these big packs from breakfast tv that had dr atkins on they were talking about the atkins answer it was a big box and got videos in there you got uh tapes that would give you kind of enthusiasm you got a booklet you got strips to see if you had ketosis you had everything in this pack that you need to get going i bought into it and off i went and i never looked back now in the book it said if you should get a little constipated on this diet which you can do some people get diarrhea completely the opposite but if you do you take something called psyllium psyllium husks well the uk had never heard of psyllium husks back in those days you couldn't get that sort of stuff so i would take senna get a bit of stomach ache all that sort of thing horrible but now we can get them so i buy psyllium husks and i buy them in capsule form now, I take two with every meal. So usually I eat twice a day. Sometimes if I'm a bit hungry on a given day or didn't have a big breakfast or something, I might eat three times. I'm sure I read. It might have been another pack from another manufacturer, but don't exceed more than six. So that's three times a day. And since I started taking these, I have no problems whatsoever and I also have absolutely zero stomach cramping which I used to get with other forms of laxative and they were awful no matter what ones they were. This is my holy grail. I could not do that diet without these. Um, I would be in agony and it would be miserable. But taking these, well, it makes it all possible for me. Now, I've noticed recently when I've got, I buy mine on Amazon, you know. Um, I'm, this isn't a product placement. I have no idea who this company is because I don't care if it comes from them or someone else. As long as it's not extortionate, I buy them and they're capsule. Um, but some of them have, oh, lost my voice. Some of them have a different milligram. I don't know. I, I don't I don't go for the highest, you know. I just go for middle of the road. They cost about 15, 16 pounds. I buy these. That that would do. Sometimes you're lucky enough to get two for. If you can, that's that's even better. But these are absolutely oh, essential to me. Anyway, that's that's psyllium husks. You can get it in powder form if you want to start putting it in your food. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a crazy scientist with a Bunsen burner. I have no idea about all that stuff. So I just like to get the capsules. They're quite big. I'll show them to you, though. Um, before I do, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You can see they're brand new because I haven't even, I haven't even got in there yet. I've got scissors here somewhere. Didn't, you don't don't do this at home guys this is just me being bad yeah don't do that at home just a disclaimer there so yeah if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button 
and the notification bell not only do i pop videos on like this but i'm doing derma rolling you can laugh at me sticking needles in my face um and my bingo wings now and um also some retinol that i do as well so here they are these are them i'll get a couple i'll get one out they are not small by any means. Now, I have no trouble taking tablets. You know, some people, you see them with a tiny little tablet, they put it in and they have to go like, like this about 20 times to get it in. I just get like these, a couple of other, and I'll show them in a minute because there's something else I'll show you. I get them and the other two, so there'll be four this size, straight in, wash it down, gone. The way I look at it is food bigger than that goes in my mouth. So why should I have trouble with these? I don't. So that's them. Um, the other thing that brings me to what I was saying, I do take these now. And the reason being, sometimes when you're low carb, you can get a bit of cramp in your legs or mostly it's legs. I don't know anywhere else. But when I was younger, I, when I did them in the 80s and periodically since, I would get my legs, if I stood up, I'd get my legs go like the little muscles in them would kind of squeeze but they wouldn't hurt they just squeeze it felt like every time i stopped it's like oh that's weird it was a way a weird sensation but it didn't hurt anyway as i've got a little bit older and your body doesn't metabolize magnesium so well i've now started taking these and these have stopped it dead i was getting some terrible terrible cramps especially at night i've been laying in bed and suddenly i'm awake screaming because of the agony i've got very big calf muscles and they were really really mega painful now i do take um every morning um a multivitamin just a cheapo multivitamin i didn't bring that in because it's just a multivitamin Obviously, there's some magnesium in there, so I don't take these at the same time. But when I have my main meal, and that main meal might be lunchtime, it might be dinner time, or I might even big breakfast. But whichever one is my biggest meal of the day, I take two of these. And they are um, probably mirror image or something on the screen, but it's called Ultra Magnesium Premium Quality. And these ones are by v Vita Biotics. Vita Vita Biotics? I don't mind. I don't know. But these are the ones I take. Now, I'm not affiliated to them, not affiliated to anyone. Nobody pays me a brass farthing for anything. So it's not product placement. So, yeah, those two, two of them in my hand, two of them in my hand, wash them down straight away, go down nicely. My last product that I'm going to show you, and like I said, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And the notification bell because i will give you like more advice as we go on uh, just when i find things this is my go-to sweetener now sweeteners are disgusting they are there's no getting away from it if you want something sweet in your life and you're on a low carb diet you need one whatever i hate stevia i find it leaves a really nasty aftertaste in my mouth I cannot stand it. Really, really hate stevia. I know it's meant to be natural, but yuck, you know, cannot abide it. Um, likewise, that saccharin taste that you get from some of your pills, ill. So to be honest with you, spoon in Candorel, there is one I use as well that's granulated for cooking. Can't remember the name of it, but this is the one. This is the one that I put, if I have a cup of coffee, I don't drink coffee very often. But if I want to put something in, maybe I'm making a little dessert, like um, a mousse or something, or pancakes, if I'm making pancakes, I'll put this in. And this is liquid Hermesitas. There it is, that way round. Liquid Hermesitas, it's a clear bottle, so that's why I got it the wrong way round, because the label's on the other side. But liquid Hermesitas is, it comes, I'll open this one up, once you crank it open you've got your little spout with a little hole in it and you drip it now the last one i bought didn't have a hole so i had to make a hole didn't like doing that because it drips too quick that one but what you do is you can use a teaspoon and it will tell you on here how much i think it's 50 grams i'm gonna have to look intelligent now guys i know 
where are we it does say oh, i need some light as well i've got i have my eyes lasered and since i have my eyes lasered i need a good light right it's for where are we a teaspoon of sugar is 10 drops so that's what i work to because i usually do that if i'm having a cup of coffee i'll just put 10 drops in one spoonful that's perfect now 50 grams of sugar uh five mil of this like a teaspoon so if you get like a, one of those measuring teaspoons or just put a teaspoon of this will give you was it 50 mil which is what i thought it was so you can work that accordingly you know if your recipe says 200 grams and you want four yeah glad that worked out right because i just said it on the top of my head it could have been wrong so but this is by far the one that has the least aftertaste for me it may be fiddly it may be fiddly drippy 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 but um you know i prefer the taste and it's you know on amazon i bought a pack of six bottles of this and i've still got about four and i gave some away because it really does last a long time last a long time in this house i don't really have sugar i never have sugar in tea i tea drink mostly my partner has this um also if i was before i did low carb if i ever did like a, a low fat diet like slimming world or weight watchers then i would just squirt this in my oats works just as well you just squirt it taste it no it's a bit more squirt a little bit more that sort of thing and i got to use one two three squirts was perfect for me so yeah it's just play with it really but that is my go-to sweetener so anyway that's all i've got for you today although i do i did mention another couple of things that i use like the multivitamin it was just a cheap one i got on amazon it had everything in it um i don't always get the right amount of veggies and nutrients so i do take that supplement but i really really need these now without these i get cramp another thing i do to avoid cramp is i'll have you know oxo cubes beef flavored oxo cubes or any kind of stock cube that's zero I will just put that in a glass of hot water and maybe drink it because it's salty. Salt does help sometimes with the cramping. And these I cannot do without. Psyllium husks, magnesium. Now you've got to be careful. There's all these different derivatives of magnesium. But this is the right one for me. And it's totally and utterly put paid to it. It's brilliant. So I can't do it without these three products. And that's me in a nutshell thank you for watching um next time hopefully that i sit in front of you and show you a product or something to do with low carbon i'll be even lighter so onwards and downwards as far as diet's concerned i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now